All right, solar, a great topic for any overland. Why would you need it? Solar is free energy for your vehicle. Let's just keep it that simple. It's very handy to have. Do you, does everybody need it? Not necessarily. In our experience with Expedition Overland, when we're driving really hard and putting big miles in every day, solar is less of an issue. We don't really need it because our alternators are charging everything as we drive. However, as soon as you slow down and you start spending more times and more days and time in camp, uh, start shipping trucks and they're sitting shipping yards, um, and even just having your truck parked at home and wanting to keep your fridges running, solar can be a really awesome solution. So over the years, actually in the last two or three years, Expedition Overland has started to move towards solar and we're really seeing a lot of the benefits from it. Uh, the technology has come a long way and that's part of it. And now I would say that the tech is far enough along that it is very useful for anybody to start using. So there's a few things that you're gonna to wanna to consider when getting into the solar world. First is how many watts. Well, that is gonna be calculated by what you're attaching to the power draw or the battery. You have, are you gonna be running refrigerators, eight refrigerators or one refrigerator, or are you gonna be running all kinds of whatever on this, you know? And once you figure out what the power draws and your needs are, then you can figure out the size of solar panels that you need. But as a rule of thumb, a 150 watt panel is a really great place to start or having the biggest size that you can fit in whatever location you have. Do you need portable panels or do you want fixed panels? At XO, we're using fixed panels primarily. We're putting them on the roofs of our vehicles and permanently wiring them in so that they're always there working. It seems to work the best for us. However, we do carry at least one portable blanket with us like this uh, Red Arc 150 panel. And in the event that we park in the shade, which if you live in deserts or hot environments, you wanna do that, this allows you to move your solar panel out into the sun, keep your vehicle and your campsite in the shade and still get that power that you need. So the next thing after you figured out what you want is a panel, either fixed or portable, you're gonna need a controller. And what that controller does is it takes the the variable voltages of the solar panel and puts it into a consistent voltage into your battery. There are good ones and not so good ones. We recommend that you buy into the system of MPPT. That is the most efficient system. And when we're talking about solar panels, efficiency is everything. So check into how to make any of your solar panels as efficient as possible when you do go to install them. Proper wire, proper gauge, how long that wire is going to run, etc., so that you get the most out of your solar panels. Also, a good MPPT controller will have multiple algorithm capabilities for charging different types of batteries, like lead acid, AGM, or lithium. So is solar right for you? Most likely. You just have to decide at what level and how you need to use it.